Hey guys, what's up? This is Nick from ES Blue Marketing Department. In my next video, I give an introduction about how to create and save documents using SpiderDoc for the net. And this time, I'm going to show you guys how to merge two documents into one document and how to split a document into multiple documents by section break. Firstly, I will introduce how to merge two documents. We will use doc insert text from file method to realize this function. Open Visual Studio and create a new project. In my last video, I have already explained how to add a product to Visual Studio step by step. Just to refresh your memory, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it one more time quickly. There are two ways to get our DL files. The first way is to download the Spider Doc for the net package on EIS Blue's website and then import the DL files from your computer to Visual Studio. Take them all and click OK. The second way is to search Spider Doc through NewGate and get installed on Visual Studio. Click install and it's done. Alright, let's get back here and start to code. I will try to merge two documents, this document and this document into one document. Before everything, we have to import using spread the doc at namespace and then instantiate a document object. Later, we're going to note document A from local file. And then, we're going to use doc insert takes from file method to merge document A to document B. Next but not least, don't forget to save the document. Okay, that's it. Let's run the code. Okay, now let's check out the output. Here. See? Okay. Alright, next. Let's see how to split a document into multiple documents by section break. Likewise, let's create a new project first. And name it split document. Okay. And then Repeat the same procedures to add our new files as references. Okay. And then import using spread the doc at the namespaces. And then we're going to instantiate a document object to note an existing Word document. Later, we're going to declare a document variable which will be used to create multiple new Word documents. Afterwards, we're going to use for statement to look through the sections of the source document and clone the specific section and add it to the new Word document and finally save the new Word document to file. Okay, let's check it out. Alright, it's done. Let's find the documents. They're here. Yes. That's it. Okay, that's all for today's video. 
see you next time and thank you for watching if you have any questions regarding our product please leave your comments below goodbye